Hi, this is Ellen with Hollywood.com here at the Century City Plaza in Los Angeles. It's finally coming out after two years of delays. We're here at the premiere of O, oh, the controversial and violent adaptation of Othello, with stars like Julia Stiles, Josh Hartnett, and Mackay Pfeiffer. Were you relieved when they finally kind of announced that this is when it was coming out and this is when the premiere? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm so. I do music and I do film, so I'm just kind of uh, don't pay that much attention. Yeah, I was happy, but I wasn't waiting on pins and needles. I knew it was a good film and it would get out there eventually. Mm -hmm. And whenever it did, it would be the right time, and now's the right time, so I'm very pleased. Now, tell us about kind of the accomplice character that you sort of unwitting accomplice. <laughs> How does this always happen to me? Um, yeah, well, uh, you know, girls want to get some and uh, it comes down to the fact that um, my boyfriend was being a stooge and the only way to get some was to give him what he wanted. I had no idea that what he wanted was going to be a tool in, in a murder and that's that sort of th there. I just gave it all away. <laughs> now, and this role is a great honor to take on because many, many actors before you have played it. Did you kind of feel that, that something had been sort of passed on that you got to, you got the privilege to be able to play? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, I'm, as, as an artist, I'm always trying to find uh, new and interesting characters to portray. And uh, Othello is one of the most complex so far, you know. Uh, he runs the full gamut of human emotions. He gets to be uh, totally motivated by love and all his actions. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm looking for. I, I was looking forward to doing. I jumped at the opportunity. Yeah. Now, did you go once you got the part? Did you go back to the play and read through anything and, and draw things from that? Well, when we did rehearse, we had two weeks of rehearsal. So we did uh, the original Shakespearean play and we did our screenplay wow. and and mesh both worlds together. What was probably the biggest thing you you drew from the play that helped you in your preparation? Um. Well, the play, I guess, could get a little more in depth. Um, we just delved into the characters a lot more, yeah. uh, into the motivation of the characters, the complexities, uh, and, and it just helped us all around. It's a great honor to kind of get to play the role of Iago. He's one of the great yeah. villains in you know literature and history, and yeah. a lot of great actors have played him. Did you feel like there was a, this kind of honor of getting that role passed yeah, I, to you in a way? Yeah, but it was it wasn't passed to me. You know, I mean they. <laughs> I kind of had to steal it, uh, but I, it's a, you know, it's a different, it's a different look at Iago. Yeah. You know, Iago has always been the motiveless villain, and we kind of give him some sort of motivation in this. And uh, I, I just tried to, I just tried to handle it as best I could, really. Were you impressed at how the writer sort of developed more of a backstory to kind of give that motivation in this kind of high school setting? Yeah, it was, it was partly Brad Kai and it was partly Tim, and. Uh, uh, it just kind of came together, you know, due to Martin Sheen's performance and our, our, our uh, you know, Mackay's performance, Julia's performance, everybody's performances just kind of came together and made this come to life a little bit more clearly than it ever had before, I think. Cool. That would be really cool. All right. Would you like yeah. to play a villain again? Uh, maybe. We'll yeah. see if there's a good one out there. I think there. you make a good one. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not, but I It just means it. you're a good actor. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Since you've done all these Shakespeare adaptations, was that was doing Shakespeare, performing Shakespeare, something that when you started acting, you knew you would always do? Or did it ever intimidate you that one day you'd be you know, performing these stories and these complex characters? Yeah, it sure it intimidated me. I mean, I think I have a lot of respect for Shakespeare, but um, I guess that's why I chose to do adaptations, because if I did a traditional version, I think people would, would be much more strict about you know, judging my performance and how true I was to the sort of Shakespearean acting that people assume you're supposed to do. Um, but in an adaptation, you have much more freedom to kind of make the character your own. Yeah. But then again, I guess maybe that makes people more <laughs> skeptical in the beginning. Makai said that you guys performed the, the actual play like through in, in rehearsal, and then you did your adaptation. Was there anything that you drew from the play version for your character? Oh, sure. There's a lot. I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember specifically. It was two years ago. Uh, I would say just how, how much uh, Desdemona loves Othello, and you know that, that, that's something that you have to kind of you always have to add in in subtext and the way she's so trusting and open because I guess in the old play you think if it was the 17th century and, and women much more were much more 
submissive, I have to say, you know, and, and even and today, I, well, I didn't want to make Desdemona submissive, I wanted, you know, the, you could easily, as an, a woman in the 90s, want to give her this girl power moment where she stands up to him, and she doesn't really have that. Yeah. And are you going back to Columbia in the fall? Yes. Cool. Good luck with that. Thank nice you. Nice to see you again. Good to see you too.